Hello, friend. Welcome. Um, let's continue with uh, our Connect4 game for iOS Swift UI. And uh, let's create a, a function in our model to reset the game. Okay. So, um, so eventually the view will ask this service right ask for this service from our view model and uh, and the view model will delegate the job to our model connect for here this one this is our model so piece add okay so let's create a function here like reset reset again how do we reset the game we'll remove all the pieces right this is box dot remove all like that it's that simple okay oh yeah of course it has to be mutating yeah. now we'll pro provide this service in our view model actually yeah function um, there's no need for mutating here because by default uh, the function inside the class right will change the uh, the state of the class it's, it's just um, a pointer pointing to those uh, memory in the heap okay so reset reset the game we'll dedicate to game dot reset like that now let's go to the view let's add up okay so let's close this one and yeah before we go to the view let's test it okay so connect for test let's add another test drop add mm -hmm. So test reset. Okay. So here, um, let's just copy this one. Copy everything here. Copy, paste, and now that we can clean up those things, the printing and here after we drop two pieces yeah and if we call the reset mm -hmm. command b reset oh mm -hmm. this doesn't make sense command b oh okay let's click this one to trigger the compiler for the test now we set yes so command b doesn't help here we have to click any anything here to trigger the completion of the test bundle so after the reset uh, we should we are sure this one will be new again right let's see um, we can also print out it after that so test yeah it passed cool so at the beginning it's empty you see it's empty here then we drop the two pieces right and then after the reset we got an empty again okay cool it works now we can remove the printing here and use the xcd assert to guarantee our logic okay now now we are confident with our logic right by this xcd assert thing so we can happily go to the view to add a button um, at the bottom of this here so let's put a button here um h stack 
H stack. Okay, put it here. Um, button. Button. Oh, title and uh, title and uh, action. Right, action. The action is easy. Um, we'll call our view model. This guy. Dot reset. Yeah. So the data flow is very interesting. So here, let's put a reset here. It's like the view, right? The observer. The view is the observer. Um, send a message to the view model to reset. Then the view model here modify the the model then since the model is modified the publisher inside this view model will send out the broadcast will publish the change and now the view the view the observer will will get whatever is the latest state of our model and we draw the view everything here it's so cool right now let's give a try and run it okay so let's make oh Wait a minute, well, it's our H button. Oh, okay, wrong place. Reset, no, 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 it's not there. It should be in uh, H stack. Um, it means we still need, we need another V stack, yeah v stack and uh, put this one inside the v stack and uh, take out the button and uh, v stack put this one under it maybe we need a large font Okay, reset. Yes. Um, dot font dot large. Is it good? Yeah. Now let's try it. Make it look better. Run it. Let's play the game. Okay, now reset. Yes. Red. Yellow. Red. Reset. Yellow. Oh, this is a bug. So reset. We. Aha, uh -huh, so. Uh, test driven if we use the test driven um, coding style we needed to add a bug here so test reset okay so we needed to add a bug here to catch the, the bug here um, after the reset so if we like drop three pieces okay drop another one then um, after the reset at ct assert the the color will still be red right the initial the 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 prayer to move first is always red at ct assert equal or true Mm, 
equal okay equal so what we want to check model dot um, uh, what is that let's see whose turn okay whose turn dot whose hmm? Oh, this is a private. Okay, so let's make it uh, private for writing. So public for reading. Okay. Now let's go to here. So let's trigger the compilation. Now we should be able to get whose turn. Yeah, whose turn will be dot red. It will fail based on our observation on the, yeah it failed right now let's fix it now let's go to our code to fix it reset well it's a reset so it's not enough simply right only by only uh, removing all the pieces we still need to set whose turn to red now let's go back to our test and try it yes it passed okay now let's run the game and the test drop three pieces then reset now it should be right a new game so the first one will be red yes it works right now let's test the other case if we put the uh, even number of pieces now we set it should be always red yeah cool that's it thank you for watching see you next time